If 15 minutes are all you have to put dinner on the table, I got you with a delicious shrimp curry recipe. It's flavorful, creamy, loaded with veggies and protein and unforgettably scrumptious. To start with, pull out the instant pot to cook white rice if you really only have 15 to 20 minutes or brown rice if you do have a little extra time. Using the instant pot for cooking rice frees up your hands and mind to focus on the rest of the cooking. If this tip was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, all you need to do for the shrimp curry is cut the dark green parts of two or three scallions and set them aside. Then slice the rest of the scallions into fine rings. Now get two to three cloves of garlic and about a tablespoon of grated ginger. I recommend the one that comes in jars to save on time and chop them really finely. Now preheat a large pan over medium heat and in the meantime, cut a zucchini in half lengthwise, then slice it, then cut it into stripes and then cut a red bell pepper into thin stripes as well, about the same thickness as the zucchini. And set the vegetables aside. By now, your pan should be nice and hot. Add a drizzle of avocado oil, your sliced scallions and chopped garlic and ginger, and three tablespoons of red Thai curry paste to the pan and stir fry until fragrant. That takes about a minute. Then add one can of coconut milk and stir it to combine. Bring the sauce to a boil over medium low heat, add the sliced veggies and let them simmer for three to five minutes, stirring occasionally to thicken up the sauce and cook the vegetables. In the meantime, cut the dark green parts of the scallions diagonally into rings, destock some cilantro and slice a red chili. By now, your veggies should be soft and it's time to add the raw shrimp. Always drain your shrimp well before cooking with it. Submerge the shrimp in the sauce to ensure it cooks evenly and let it cook in the curry sauce for only about two to three minutes, then remove from the heat. Serve the curry over your rice, sprinkle the cilantro leaves on top, the green scallions, the sliced red chili, and enjoy. If you've enjoyed this recipe and are gonna give it a try, please don't forget to snap a picture. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes. And if you've enjoyed this video, check out this one.